So, hey girl, hey. My name is Michelle. Um, I wanted to share with you today, I'm making this video because I wanted to share my top Mother's Day gifts. I traditionally am a writer. Traditionally, you can find me on michellexoelise.com, but I decided to do a video for this post because I wanted to crank it out as quickly as possible. I know we're all quarantined right now. I know we're all ordering and shopping online, and that's not as quickly as all the procrastinators out there, aka sometimes me, who <laughs> will just go to the store last minute, the day before, the weekend before, and get your gifts for your mamas. The way I'm going to organize this video is I wanted to include each and every type of mama. And when I say type of mama, I'm not saying like, oh, this is how you always are, but think about what season your mom is in. Like, if she's into working out all of a sudden or she's like mm, she's talked to you and she's like mm, I'm thinking about getting into running or I bought a treadmill and I want to like really find something to motivate me then maybe she'll be thrown into the athletic category this time where traditionally she's more of like your traditional Chrissy beauty mom whatever you want to call it yeah so let's just get into it if you see me looking down I wrote down as many notes as I possibly can on my computer because I don't want to miss anything and I I feel like I got some really good gifts in here and I just trying to get it all my grounds covered. First, I started off with like your spoil yourself. So spoil yourself is maybe your mom needs some time to herself. Maybe she's overwhelmed. Maybe work's got her down. Maybe she's a nurse and with everything going on. She's working like crazy and you need something to just kind of unwind and just be yourself and just, we all need it at times, let's be real, but <laughs> you want to actually spoil her with these gifts. I'm trying to also include different categories as far as price range. Um, some things, groups, gifts, you may like try to group together. Maybe you want to like flood her with gifts, so you want a lot of low pr price options. Maybe you just want to buy a big gift. I'm trying to include it all. First thing I want to talk about are pajamas. So, girl, let me tell you. I am recently obsessed with pajamas. It's it's really bad. I love Target's pajamas right now, especially their silky pajamas. They have like some really, really nice quality pajamas right now. But I don't know, like pajamas just make me feel good as of lately. And I don't know, I think it would be a nice gift to give to someone, whether they're from Target. I know Nordstrom also had some really cute pajamas on their side, Nordstrom Rack. I also have been liking Aries, like loungewear um, stuff, like all of those things. Kind of just know your mom's style. And if you do know their style, if you don't know their style, probably want to not stick to pajamas, but still. <laughs> Second thing, kind of same as pajamas would be a robe so two types of robes it could be a nice silky robe to match your nice silky pajamas that you got them or it could also be a nice fuzzy like makes you feel like you're staying in the four seasons after you get out of bath kind of robe next thing third thing would be an eye roller okay so bear with me you don't want to go cheap on an eye roller um I'm not talking about like the ones you find in like Forever 21 in the bins for like three, five bucks. I'm talking about like a real quality eye roller. Something that they can throw in the fridge and then kind of just like, you know, it's like a nice little spa treatment. You can roll under your eyes and your forehead and all over your face. I've read that it's really, really good for lymphatic drainage and as well as puffiness in your eyes. Which, side note, if you are doing anything in that category right now, Sephora, is having a their beauty insider spring sale i actually just put an order for it like last week and i was so mad because i missed it it's according to what category you're at whether you're just a beauty insider a rogue vip i can't think of their categories and how they work off the top of my head but they end i think the last one's the second i want to say the first one ends the 29th check their site and look it up which if you're not a Sephora Beauty Insider, just sign up. It's free. Just, just put it in your email, collecting points, and yeah. Third thing would be a spa gift card. So I know I just mentioned in the previous one, no one's going to anyone's spa right now, but I still think it would be a very, very good gift to kind of look forward to in the future. Last thing I kind of put in your spoil, in my spoil yourself kind of category is a basket. So like... 
when I say basket, I mean kind of like an array of just beauty gifts. Like, and this is for the people that like really, really know the woman they're giving this gift to and know like, okay, I know they would like all these little things, but instead of wrapping it all individually, like, let me just do like a kit of their favorite things and give it to them. Um, you could do it as simple as like a candle from their favorite scent, their favorite store, um, wine and bath bombs if you know they're like a bathtub, bathtub and wine kind of girl or take any of the gifts I mentioned above and kind of throw in the basket together with other little stuff, whatever it may be. Maybe you know their favorite lipstick or lip gloss because they use the same one over and over again. Like throw that stuff, stuff that like you can say like, oh, okay, these things I know you love and makes me think of you and you're going to throw it in there and give it to them. I think it's a cute idea. It's actually pretty thoughtful too. I kind of got that from my mom, which if you're watching this, hey girl, hey. <laughs> Second category um, we're going to talk about is fitness. First gift, we're going to, I'm doing the best I can here. So if you are a fitness guru, don't get on me. Like, we're just going to roll with the punches here. So first thing we're going to go with is an insulated tumbler, which I actually have mine right here. Um, this is actually an array. So I know with like the jade roller, I say I wouldn't go cheap. I would look for a real quality good one. Insulated tumblers, water cups, um, you can do a lot, like, as far as price-wise with this. I actually got this tumbler um, from Target for, like, 10 bucks, And I have them in, like, five different colors because they're my favorite. And it keeps my eyes cold. The same way I hear people talk about, like, your high-quality ones like Yetis. But, I mean, if your mom is a Yeti type of person, I mean, get her a Yeti. Whatever it may be. Um, also, another thing you can do if you want to kind of, like, spruce it up a little bit as you can also personalize them i've seen a lot a lot of really really cute um tumbler cups kind of personalizations my cousin Brittany, also has a site on instagram called i think it's whg creations um with the heart of grace creations she's on instagram facebook and etsy i believe i'm gonna get that information for you and i'll put it somewhere there's tons of options out there. Check Pinterest and see an idea if you don't know, like, well, what exactly am I going to put on it? Like, what's her favorite Bible verse? Like, let's get that created and put it on a Tumblr for her. So, like, every time she picks up her cup in the morning, she sees that Bible verse and it warms her heart. I think a Tumblr is a good gift for, like, anybody that's like, oh, let me pay attention to my water content. And this is how this kind of fits into the fitness category. Let me pay attention to my water content. Um, I like to infuse my water you also have a lot of water bottles that have the infuser inside where you can throw in the lemons and the strawberries to make your detox water or whatever it may be second i have athleisure which i mean i love clothes so <laughs> it works as far as athleisure once again you have an array you have options here people you can go as cheap as target and get her a nice sport bra and um, legging set from there or you can go as high as lululemon which i hear the price there if you are willing to splurge i always hear their quality is worth it kind of like the pajamas clothes are a little picky because i mean make sure you know her style make sure you know her um don't just go out on a whim there third is an activity watch like fitbit or something like that um I once upon a time had a Fitbit watch. I mean, I don't want to say once upon a time, I still do. And I used it all the time. If your mom or the woman you're buying for is currently looking for something to kind of motivate her to start working out, I highly, 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 highly recommend getting a Fitbit. Especially if they're competitive. Like, I just love the fact that it's like, oh, okay, like, let me check in on so and so and see what their numbers are looking like oh wait i can get more steps than them i'm gonna beat you kind of thing it's cute it's really cute and aside from just fitbit i mean you can always you have apple watches um the reason i don't really use my fitbit anymore is because i wear my apple watch every day and my apple watch along with just steps which i don't know if Fitbit does this or not still um so I can't really speak on it, but as far as Apple Watch goes, because I use it every day, they remind me to breathe throughout the day. They remind me to stand if I'm sitting too long. They keep track of not only my steps, but my movement, my exercise, my heart rate, all those things. Really, really good quality 
information. Fourth gift under athletic kind of section I wanted to throw out there were wireless headphones. And it's so funny because I remember when wireless headphones first came out, I kind of thought they were dumb. Not going to lie. I was like, well, why does it matter? Like, who really walks away from their phone like that? I don't know. I didn't really think it through, but I love my wireless headphones. And right before we got pregnant with Raylan, I was going to the gym pretty often with Sean. We were going together and I, I, that's when I kind of saw the meaning and the purpose of them because it's like, it's really, really cool to be able to throw your phone in your pocket and just not have to worry about like, okay, let me untangle my strings or whatever. Or if your mom's a runner or a walker, she wants to start walking. Hey, like use your wireless headphones while you're going for a walk and listening to your favorite audiobook or listening to your favorite sermon or listening to your favorite just song or playlist or whatever it may be so next next is sentimental and this is this is so dear to my heart um this is actually what kind of motivated me to create this list i am a sucker when it comes to maybe my love language is mainly quality of time i always say it's words of affirm affirmation but it, it's got a lot of quality time in there because i just think moments are so special um gifts are cool gifts are great i mean we all love gifts, but at the end of the day, it's those memories that are going to stick with you forever and ever and ever. So, sentimental things. The first thing we're going to talk about in sentimental is a mom's day out. So, I mean, I don't know if you're a husband and uh, you're trying to figure out what to get your wife or the mother of your kid or whatever. Um, or if you're just anybody and you want to figure out what to do special for a mom, I promise you... Pretty much every mom with kids, especially young kids, would appreciate you just saying like, hey, for Mother's Day, this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to take little Johnny and yeah, <laughs> you have the day to yourself. You can do whatever you want. Like creating a mom's day out. I mean, I, I can't really tell you what that looks like for every woman. I mean, kind of know what they want, but a lot of women, especially um like I said earlier, with young kids would really, really appreciate you just taking them away. It's a really, really simple gift, like really simple. Second thing is a week of a meal service. Like who struggles, me, <laughs> with trying to figure out what you guys are going to eat constantly. And I mean, especially with being quarantined right now and not being able to just pick up and go to Publix, go to the grocery store whenever you want, being able to just have a week of a meal service there where it's like, oh, okay, your meals are taken care of you. You have everything you need. Um, here's some nice, easy gifts. Like, it's the thought, guys, when you come to sentimental gifts. Like, thoughtful things that it's like, okay, I see you. Like, this is what you actually need, and this is how I can make your life easier. Third thing, traditional brunch and bread. Like, I think that kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> Traditional, like, let me make your favorite breakfast in the morning, and yeah, here. Next section is going to be for all my homebodies, which, also me, hey girl, hey. <laughs> so, first I have a Dyson Cordless vacuum. Really expensive, but I hear it's worth the hype. Uh, my sister-in-law actually has one, and she loves it. It works, guys. Once again, expensive, but it works. Second thing would be a portal or Echo Show or Google Home kind of um, system. And those are the little, so we have Alexa, which is just a speaker kind of system, but you also now have the like actual screens where you could be able to FaceTime on it or you can actually see the video, YouTube video screen or whatever it may be. I think that would be a really cute gift for someone that's kind of like, oh, I like having cool things like that at home. Um weighted blanket guys it's worth the hype too i got a weighted blanket last october november and i love it it takes me away it makes me feel nice cozy at home whenever you want it to be um i think it's worth it they're cute um and there's a lot of health benefits to it as well if you'd want to look it up i'm i'm not really versed as well as beyond just I like it it feels good it makes me happy lastly an audible subscription um kind of also really thoughtful in the sense of um 
if you know you have someone that loves reading, it helps them to be able to keep up their hobby and keep up with the things that they love to do. But on the flip side, um, we'll have to worry about buying it often. Lastly, um, I have Mom on the Go. So, Mom on the Go is anyone that loves to travel. Um, I have a sister that loves to travel, so <laughs> there's people out there that just love to travel. <laughs> We have the a gift card to an upcoming vacation destination, which my mom actually did this for my husband last Christmas. So if you know someone has a trip planned, uh, let's say far in the future, once again, because Corona, buy them a gift card to a place that you know they're going to hang out there or like, yeah. It's hard because, I mean, you don't really, if you're, you know what they're going to do, then this makes sense. But if you don't, it doesn't really make sense. Third would be a personal map, personalized map. I kind of thought this was super cute and kind of creative. So I saw this on Etsy where you can basically um, get a, a frame of a map and it's like, oh, the johnson's great adventure or whatever it may be and you have their name on it and they can kind of identify oh okay like i've been here i've been here i've been here um it could be of the world of the, the united states wherever they kind of mainly travel and it's just a kind of a cute memory keep them up to date with what they're doing and lastly i have a canon instant camera so Stuck with an instant camera though because I kind of thought this was super cute um, in the sense of the shake it like a Polaroid picture kind of thing where you can take a picture and instantly kind of have that memory right there in your hand. Um, and the way they are these days, they also will give you a digital form as well. So, I mean, it gives you options. It gives you the opportunity to still be digital and up to the world and in 2020. And that's it. I hope it was helpful too. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if there's anything else like, um, Think of in the comments below that would fit into any of those categories that would help anyone else um and yeah so hopefully this isn't the last time you see me on video and i hope you have a fantastic day bye